Hey guys and welcome to another video. In front of us we have an Audi X3080 Founders Edition and I know a lot of people are waiting for the copper mod on this card and today is the day where we will do the copper mod especially on this card and yeah let's put it on my test bench first and to see the firmness before and then we will do the copper mod and do also some thermal testing so we can compare stock and with copper mod and of course some information about the copper mod on this particular card of course as well and yeah i would say let's jump right into it and put it first on the test bench all right the first thing you want to do is to find out how far we can push this card in order to do that we just enter more meme clock let's start with 800 which is like 2000 on high OS. Should be a good starting point. You can see already a MEM temperature of 92 degrees Celsius at 213 watts. This card is really efficient. Let's go straight to 1000 or 2400 in high OS. Alright, that's basically the max of this card, 89 mega hashes, it's really not that high, uh, usually a card with that overclock plus 1000, which is 2400 and high, should do 100 mega hash, I can't really explain why this card isn't capable of doing 100 mega hash at this point, uh, as we can see it already starts also to decrease the hash rate, which is kinda odd. The really important thing here is memory temperature and you can see it evening out at 92 degrees after straight 8 minutes of mining. So yeah, let's take it apart, exchange the pl plates for plates and <laughs> yeah, then we'll put it again on the test bench to see the after results. And this is how the card looks with the attached cooler. I was able to pull off the PCB without damaging um, the thermal pads and now we can measure the thermal pad thickness and then uh, we can add the copper plates. Yeah, I measured all the pads on this card and as things turns out this card uses 1.5 millimeter pads or rather said they are 1.5 millimeter in their squeezed state so I will use 1.5 millimeter of course for the copper blades and yeah that's basically it and I hope this will work out that are the copper blades and yeah let's see what will happen yeah the car just started up as you can see running slightly over two minutes as you can see we have 50 60 degrees Celsius on the mem which is uh, kind of impressive, crazy low. Um, this time I used Arctic MX5 from a paste instead of the ceramic that you always saw. Just wanted to find out, hey, um, what happens if I take this from a paste instead of ceramic and it works. Um, kind of neat. Basically the mod itself on the card was like on every other card you have to cut one piece and a half and on top of that you have to grind one piece of the copper plates a bit off so it's um, like two millimeters too long so you have to take a grinder and grind two millimeters off in terms that it will fit uh, you couldn't put the card together with, uh, with a not grinded copper plate so you will definitely uh, need to do that and you will see which spot that is it's it's uh, one it's one stack on the upper side of the card if you take it apart okay it's a bit hard to say where is the upper side because <laughs> the way you turn it but like I said, um, it will hit the shroud if you don't do it. So basically you can't do it wrong. 
because you just can't put the cards together if you don't do it. Yeah, I will run this now for a while and then I will come back and then we will see where the card is evening out after like 7 minutes. And yeah, as you can see, slightly under 8 minutes. Um, in theory, we should have now passed 8 minutes and we can see it's evening out at 60 degrees, which is really crazy. So this mod shaved off around 32 degrees Celsius, which is really, really insane. At least I consider it insane. So on this card, copper mod is a win. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Leave down a comment, a like, and if you want to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, if you want to know how to do the copper mod itself, you can find another video on the channel where you can find all the information that you need. And I would say, see you in the next one.